All right, y'all, so it is rumored in real life that the Houston Rockets are a strong candidate to land Chris Paul. I don't know why they want to get Chris Paul when James Harden's first season playing point guard, he posts his best year ever in his career, but that's besides the point today. Chris Paul, Houston Rockets rebuilding video. Hopefully we can bring Houston a championship first since the mid-90s. Hopefully we can do that now. Usually, Chris Paul goes back to the Clippers whenever you try to sign him in free agency. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let him sign with whoever. I mean, obviously, I'm going to throw him an offer. But then I'm just going to just basically trade for him. Just, like, assign him to my team. Because, I mean, that's the whole point of the video. So we now have Chris Paul on the team. 36 mil for four years. He signed a huge contract with the Clippers. Now... Because he's making so much money for the next four seasons, that kind of hinders us from making some big free agency signings for the next two seasons. So what I'm going to do now is trade Ryan Anderson and Eric Gordon, or maybe just trade Eric Gordon and then Ryan Anderson. I'm going to try that first and just see what happens because, I don't know, maybe we can get something better here for Eric Gordon. I'm not really too worried about losing the sixth man of the year because we have Lou Williams off the bench too, who finished third in sixth man of the year voting. So let's see what we can get right here. For Eric Gordon. Uh, TJ Warren's actually not that bad of a trade right there. Buddy Healed? Oh, come on. I gotta take that. Really? Eric Gordon for Buddy Healed. Thank you, Sacramento Kings. So let's see if the Los Angeles Lakers will take this trade. Ryan Anderson, Garrett Temple for Julius Randle. Now, on paper, this seems like kind of a good trade because, you know, we are getting Julius Randle, who is younger and making a lot less money. But then again, I'm pretty sure he's going. Uh, into free agency this season, so I'm gonna have to pay him money anyway, but Ryan Anderson, Garrett Temple for Julius Randle and the Lakers accept the trade offer. Welcome Julius Randle to the Houston Rockets. Now this team, I like this team a lot, except our starting small forward isn't really looking all that great. I think I might just trade Lou Williams. By the way, we did go ahead and sign JaVale McGee in free agency, so now we're like destined to win the championship, right? Now, there are no good trades for a small forward that I want. So, this is my thought process. Trade Lou Williams, Trevor Reza for DeAndre Jordan, and Chinanu Onuaku because he's pretty much who I traded to get Chris Paul. But, if I could not trade Trevor Reza and still have this trade work, that would be nice. I don't think that's going to work, though. Oh, 13 mil. Okay, so we are definitely going to have to include Trevor Reza in this. Okay, so there we go. Clippers agree to the trade offer. So, here's my thought process. Yes. I have DeAndre Jordan. It makes no sense for me to have DeAndre Jordan. Actually, it low-key kind of makes somewhat of sense for me to have DeAndre Jordan. But my thought process is to trade him for a good small forward. I mean, I'm pretty sure he has better trade value than those two. This is really our best option right now. DeAndre Jordan for Rudy Gay. Hopefully, I can trade Rudy Gay either at the trade deadline or uh, next season, like during the offseason. Hopefully, that can happen uh, thank you, Kings, for accepting that. Like, I don't want him on the team, but, like, I, I mean, we needed a small forward, all right? We needed a small forward. Now this is what the team looks like. Honestly, does not look that bad. We got CP3, James Harden, Rudy Gay, Julius Randle, and Clint Capella off of the bench. Buddy Heald, JaVale McGee, Patrick Beverly, Montrez Harrell, and Sam Decker. So let's get right on into season number one, and let's see if we can win a championship here. Kevin Durant wins the MVP here at the end of season number one. Lonzo Ball, Rookie of the Year, averaging a double-double with points and assists. Also contributing almost eight rebounds a game with two and a half steals. Jeremy Lin, Sixth Man of the Year, backing up D'Angelo Russell in Brooklyn. Andre Drummond, Defensive Player of the Year. Corey Joseph, Most Approved. And Steve Clifford, Coach of the Warriors, wins Coach of the Year. Here are the player stats on the season. James Harden led our team in scoring and barely led us in assists. Chris Paul was right behind him, only .2 assists behind him. But Chris Paul uh, contributing three steals a game, also 3.7 turnovers. But that is besides the point. Rest of the player stats right here. We had a lot of players average uh, double figures and points, which makes me happy. So... We finish as the second best team in the Western Conference this season. Take it on the San Antonio Spurs here in round number one. Who did they add? Let's see. Um, uh, who did they add? I can't really. Brandon Jennings they added. Uh, Kyle Anderson's out for the year with a concussion. And that's pretty much it. So I feel like we should win this series. But also knowing 2K, we probably will go to a game seven. I mean, that's just. Okay, just kidding. We're up 3-0. 
and three. I swear, if they win three games, if they win three games, okay, thank you. I was about to say, if they won three games in a row, I was about to be highly upset. Now we're taking on the new look Minnesota Timberwolves with Carl Anthony Towns, Jimmy Butler, Andrew Wiggins, but Rubio has a left hand fracture out one to two weeks. Now I have the injuries set to 30 for both teams, but uh, we're not getting anyone hurt on our team, so I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. Game one goes to, yo, 30 point victory by us, man. Let's go. Um, game two goes to them, you know, makes sense. As long as we don't blow any lead in this series is okay thank you another 4-2 victory and now we're taking on the golden state warriors now they finished i think what two games yeah two games ahead of us this season so this should be pretty interesting so this is who they have on their team pretty much same guys they added kevin seraphin larry sanders they brought bogut back uh, McCaw, Ryan Holland. See, look, four centers. If you go to a season two in my league, the Warriors always have three or four centers. Always. Every single time. Like, I promise you guys. So, let's get into this. Out East, it is Cavs and Sixers, though. That is uh, that is also kind of interesting. Can we beat the Golden State Warriors? Well, we can't win game one, and we can't win game two. Okay. 2-1. Two, I like that. 3-1. Can they blow another 3-1 lead? Can they blow it? Oh, my goodness. Could... The Golden State Warriors blow another 3-1 lead. It's looking like it's a, oh, wait, seven-point game. I do not like this. Five points. Okay, we're good, y'all. We're good. Game seven. Winner takes on the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals. Come on, guys. Just keep it close. Just keep it close, and I'll hop in, and I'll save the day. One-point game. Oh, no. I kind of messed up. 3.1. We probably don't even have the ball. So we actually have the ball, and I have no idea what to do here. But what I do know is that James Harden is going to hit a game-winning three. Let's go! Yo, and this is a Hall of Fame, too. This is a Hall of Fame. Oh, my God. We are on to the NBA Finals. That is what I call redemption, man. If you got... Oh, my... I swear to God, if Kevin Durant... Oh, what? 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 Are you kidding me? Or what? What? No! 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 Honestly, I think I just might do the rest of this video without even talking. Like, are you actually serious? That is 2K in a nutshell. That is 2K Hall of Fame in a nutshell, dude. I hit a game-winning three, and then with .9 seconds, Kevin Durant hits a full-court shot. Like, come on, bro. All right, Cavs, Warriors, second straight year. Warriors winning a sweep. Whoa, I am so upset right now. I am so upset. We had that one. We had the game one, and 2K screws us over, man. So we will be trading Rudy Gay only because he's making a lot of money. Like $28 million, I don't want it. So trading him, two first-round picks, and three second-round picks. You guys can see the protection on that one pick for Jalen Brown and Al Horford. I'm surprised this is, this is actually going to work. Thank you. Boston Celtics for taking that trade. Now we are getting rid of Al Horford because that's 28 million. No thanks. I don't care what we get in return for Al Horford. I just do not want him on the team. And why not just go ahead and trade him back to the Boston Celtics? This is honestly the best trade here. Like, there was nothing in this trade finder for me to take. Only reason why I'm doing this A, bringing him back to Boston. B, um, three mil and four mil. Like, I mean, come on. We are clearing a ton of salary cap with that move now we got 17 mil that's not as much as i want but that is still um kind of a lot i guess we can get some guys here i don't know how many guys we can necessarily get Qual qualifying offers on all of those guys i'm most likely bringing back everyone here unless if we just get like a huge upgrade at any one of these positions real quick um i really want to get nurkic in free agency because like i feel like nurkic and Capella would be a really nice center duo. So we are we are getting rid of salary cap just for two picks, which actually this could end up being valuable. You never know. So thank you, Pelicans, for you know taking that trade. Now let's see if we can get Yusuf Nurkic. Now, with all of these guys here, like I literally don't have money to get any one of them. Like Paul George would be so nice to have on this team, but sadly he's gonna go back to the Pacers. Um, but let's go ahead and get Nurkic. Because I feel like Nurkic on this team would be really nice. Let's just sign you to a 
Max, I guess? How far can I go here? I don't necessarily want to give you the max, but I feel like I kind of have to give you the max. So let me just give you like 23 mil. All right, 23 mil. And we are the top offer there, but the Blazers can still match it. So that's like my only thing that I'm worried about. Yusuf Nurkic signs with us and they do not match it. All right, so welcome Yusuf Nurkic to the team. Let's see where uh, all of these guys went. Pretty sure they just went back to their select teams, their right teams. Uh, yep, that is pretty much looking like what happened. So I don't really know what else we need here in free agency. Like, yeah, we need a backup center and a backup power forward. But when you take a look at our bird rights, we are getting pretty much all of those positions filled. Unless if Melo wants to come here, but... Oh, let's get Melo! Let's get Carmelo! Yo, this is lit, man. 5.6, number one team, Carmelo! Anthony! Let's go! Yo, this is lit, bro. Oh, man, we're going into season two. I swear, if we lose in season two, I'm going to be really upset. I'm going to be extremely upset if we lose in season two, especially with how we lost in season one. Oh, my God, I'm going to be so upset. All right, y'all, no trades. This is how we're going in to the second season with this super team. We got a big three of CP3, James Harden, and Melo. Then off the bench, we got Julius. Well, not off the bench, but to round out the starting five, we got Julius Randle and Clint Capella. Off the bench now, Yusuf Nurkic, Patrick Beverly, Jalen Brown, Buddy Heald, and Montrez Harrell. Yo, this team looks so nice. Let's win ourselves an NBA championship. Russell Westbrook wins the MVP award, averaging a triple-double points, rebounds, and assists. Luka Doncic wins the Rookie of the Year award as a member of the Chicago Bulls. George Hill, sixth man of the year, backing up uh, who I think is uh, D'Angelo Russell. Miles Turner, Defensive Player of the Year. Dennis Smith Jr., Most Improved Player. And John Smith, Coach of the Jazz, wins Coach of the Year. I mean, we finished with a better record than them. How come Mike D'Antoni isn't the, isn't the Coach of the Year? So we finish as the number one seed in the Western Conference, 59 to 23. And let's just take a look at the player stats this season. Now, honestly, I'm not really expecting anything too crazy because, you know, we have three superstars on our team. But James Harden once again leads our team in scoring. Melo with 15. Uh, Chris Paul with almost 14 a game. Let me check out their shooting percentages, though. Uh, yo, Chris Paul shooting like 50% from the field. That is nice. Clint Capella, 58% makes sense because, I mean, you're right by the basket. You should just be making all your layups. I like this team a lot. We should win the championship. It makes perfect sense for us to win the championship. But if we don't, then um, I guess I'm just super unlucky. So taking on, I believe, the Nuggets in the first round. Yeah, Nuggets in the first round. Totally wasn't paying attention when I went to that screen. Jokic is hurt six to eight weeks. How come no one on our team is getting hurt? I mean, like... I'm not going to sit here and complain about it, but, like, literally we're on the same exact, like, injury settings, but no one is hurt on our team. But, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and complain about it because that just means we have an easy series in the first round. I don't understand this game. I really do not understand this game, but we are still going to win in five games, so there is no need to worry. Now, taking on the San Antonio Spurs, the four seed, who did they add? They added Shabazz, Muhammad, Taj Gibson, Nene, um, and Dagas, Kuzminskis. Uh, nothing else too crazy. So we should once again beat this team. But, I mean, knowing 2K, we might not. But, I mean, we're up 3-0 and we just swept them. So let's go on. Okay. Rematch. Rematch. Okay. If we lose this time around, then I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do anymore. I guess I'm just super unlucky and 2K will forever just not be on my side. This other team is looking. No one's hurt on their team. All right. I swear, if we lose to this team, I will be highly upset. We win by 31 in game one. We better not lose another game. I swear. No. No, this is not about to happen. Go up, go up there. No. This is not allowed to happen. This is not allowed to happen. This is not allowed to happen. Thank you. We win game six. We're going to game seven. Wait, wait what? Raptor? What? The ra what? The Raptors. Really? Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Back to this. Game seven. We're not losing. We're not losing game seven. Damn it. We're not losing game seven. I don't care what anyone says. Yes. We did it. Yes. 
We win and we're going to the NBA Finals. Let's go, man. All right, Raptors. Raptors. Sorry, y'all. You guys are not winning. We are on a mission. We're not losing. Let's win game one. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. What are we doing? Come on, man. Game two goes to us. Let's go. 2 1, 3 1. Okay. Let's do this now. Let's do it. Game number five. And it's not looking like we're real. Oh, 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 it's close. It's close. It is close. Never mind. Not anymore. We win it. NBA champions season two. Let's go, man. We win the championship in six or five. I don't really remember. Pretty sure it was five. James Harden, finals MVP, 19 points, three rebounds, six assists, basically one steal, no blocks, two turnovers, 46% shooting from the field and 46% shooting from three-point range. Let's go on to season three and let's win back-to-back -back NBA championships. See, now this is the perks of winning the championship and having a pretty damn good team. You get to sign Marcus Solomon for agency for $21 million over four years. I mean, like, look at the offers here, and then look at what we signed him for. Four years, $21 million. Welcome, Marcus Saul, to the Houston Rockets. Uh, we cannot get either one of these guys, those being Jimmy Butler and Kyrie. Uh, we cannot get any of these guys. So, pretty much what we are going to do, we're just going to sit here. And I'm just going to bring everyone back. So, Montrez Harrell, welcome back. Hope, hopefully, you come back. Clint Capella wants 25 mil a year. Okay. Randall, you want 24 mil a year? Okay, I don't care. Beverly wants 13 mil. I don't care. As long as these guys come back, I'm fine. Like, honestly, I don't care what kind of offers we give them. As long as they come back. Oh, boy. Oh, man. We got to make a decision here. We got to make a decision. What do we do? Oh, man. Over the hard cap? Oh, man. Let's see. I think what I got to do is sign both of these guys. Pull it out on Montrez Harrell. Oh, man, dude. This sucks. This sucks. Okay. Um, Maybe we could just... Okay. So, it's looking like Montrez Harrell just won't be on the team. Wow, that sucks. Okay, maybe I can try to trade for him next season. But uh, it's looking like we will not be able to bring him back at all. I mean, we could... Oh, wait. We, we can't even get Dwight. Dang. We uh, could have got Dwight earlier in free agency but Montrez Harrell sadly will not be coming back to the team unless I can trade for him but that'll be it for free agency let's go on to season three hopefully we can trade back for Montrez Harrell so what I decided to do was move Nurkic to the four and pretty much now we have a back of four so Montrez Harrell is actually still in free agency like he hasn't been signed yet but uh we don't have enough room to get him so uh that's not Montrez Harrell yeah, we don't have enough room to get him. So, we're just going to deal with the fact that he's not going to be on the team. So, this is what team looks like here. Final season, Chris Paul, James Harden, Melo, Julius Randle, and Marcus Saul off of the bench. Yusuf Nurkic, Clint Capella, Jalen Brown, Patrick Beverly, and Buddy Heald. Let's simulate now into Season 3, and let's win back-to-back -back NBA championships. All right, y'all, 64-18, and 18, first in the Western Conference. Let's check out these player stats, because I know some of y'all are curious about these player stats, because... Most of my comments sometimes are like, show, show the player stats. So, here you go, guys. Show the player stats. There you go. All right. Taking on, once again, the Nuggets in the first round. Um, I mean, we beat them last year, so we should beat them this year, right? I mean, like, that's just how it works. Um, only Muhammad Bamba is day-to-day. -day. So is Jamal Murray. He's day-to-day. -day. Juan Hernan Gomez. I won in two weeks. Literally, it's on the same setting for both CPU and user, but yet no one on our team is hurt. But then again, I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. Yo, Melo. Melo, I'm fine with everything that's been happening. Dude, come on, bro. Like, you are on a winning team. You just won your first ring. You should be happy. All right, we, we uh, win by four. Game one. Win by 13. Win by one. And sweep. There we go. All right. Second round, taking on the Phoenix Suns. They added Embiid. Yo, this team was low-key nice. How did this team finish, what, fourth or fifth in the West? What? This is so much better then fourth or fifth in the West. Um, I'm kind of scared. Low key, kind of scared. But when we go up 3 1, I'll still be scared because we could blow it easily. But it's all good. Can we play the Warriors? Yes, we're playing the Warriors. I want to sweep this team. I want to sweep them. I do not want them to. Oh, Draymond's hurt. Oh, well, okay. Well, we just won. Oh, Montrez. Really, Montrez? Really? You sign with the Warriors, really. Out of all teams, you sign with the Warriors. Well, Draymond's hurt. That means we, that we win easily. We're going to win in four. Come, no, 2K. Don't, don't you dare do this. Don't you dare do this. Don't you dare do this to me. Okay, thank you so much. Now, taking on in the NBA Finals, the Boston 
Celtics. Who did they add to their team? Really no one. Uh, DeAndre Ayton, out for the year. Why is why is everyone getting hurt against us? Yo, ev whoa. Yo, everyone is hurt against us. I mean, I mean, okay. I mean, I'll take it because that means that we win the championship easily. And that means we win, we win back to back NBA championships. 3-1-4-1. Bam. Let's go. NBA Finals MVP, James Harden, 25-7-6-2. Hey, .4 blocks a game. One turnover for James. What? One turnover for James Harden. That's crazy. Let's check out the final championship roster, man. Yo, this team is actually, I think, the best team I've built in 2K. Let me know down in the comment section, man. James Harden, Chris Paul, Marcus Saw, Yusuf Nurkic, Julius Randle, Clint Capella, Carmelo Anthony, Buddy Heald, Patrick Beverly, Jalen Brown, Chinanu Onuaku, Patty Mills, and Gerald Henderson. And we have to give an honorary mention to Montrezl Harrell, who was, you know, on our team last season but that is going to be it for me guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure to smash that like button if you guys do enjoy let me know down in the comment section what more off-season rebuilds do you guys want to see free free agency starts on saturday so like if you guys want me to do some free agency scenarios let me know down in the comment section i'm trying to get these out before free agency starts thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all next time peace